So I'll just throw this into the video. I have three parcels here to unbox. I'll try not to show my address in any of them. Not that I don't trust you guys. I just don't trust, you know, fraud and all of that. But uh, two of these should be from uh, cash converters. One of these or two of them should be from CEX. So we'll see which ones are which. We'll start with this one. I don't think I can do this with one hand. The thing about these is I can reuse them. Help with the uh, recycling. Here we go. This one is from Cash Converters in uh, uh, Rabina. Spider-Man Edge of Time. It's unfortunately in a pretty bad case. <laughs> and the bottom looks really messed up. But it's only $3 plus shipping. Oh, there you go. It's an X-Rental. That's alright though. This is a $60 game. So I thought even at you know eight nine dollars it's still worth picking up. Definitely worth picking up. I already have a copy of this in my collection, so this will be up for sale. I know this one is from Cash Converters, so we'll go through this. We have a funny story with this one. This is good too, I can reuse the bubble wrap. Really nicely packaged, they individually wrapped each one in bubble wrap. It still came loose. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, I guess there's, there's only so much you can do. Oz Post is, uh, Oz Post is gonna do whatever they're gonna do to it. So I've got some good stuff here, this stuff is all to resell as well. Uh, the story with this one is Cash Converters Calandra was very unhappy with me with this. They held on to these for about a month. I asked, asked them maybe like a week after I bought them if maybe they could ship them to me. And I asked, I told them, you know, I will pay for shipping, you know, if you just, if you want to make a shipping cost. And they got back to me and said, yeah, we'll, I think they said we'll update one of the listings so that you can pay for shipping. And I didn't really understand it because I'd already paid for it and you can't change the listing after you pay for it, to my knowledge. But I checked the listings, nothing had changed. And a month later, I saw something else I wanted to buy and I bought that and I said, hey, can I still get these shipped? And they said, yeah, you have to pay for shipping now or we're or we're refunding all of your orders it was just a bit strange because I asked for shipping in the first place and they said yes and then afterwards they sent a passive aggressive email at me. But I got them in the end, so that's all that matters. These are three dollars each. Uh, Forza Horizon 2, I don't know the value on this anymore. I, this used to trade in for heaps and heaps, I don't know if it still does. Uh, mint condition, I might, I'll probably sell this one myself. Uh, Demon Souls. Always an easy one to sell. Three dollars is a no-brainer for this one. This did cost, they charged me twenty dollars shipping for it, which I don't know if that's what they paid, but that's what they charged me. It is a lot for shipping, but there's good stuff here. Uh, I have to check my collection. Uh, Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. Probably asking, why do you even want that one? I don't know, I have the other Madagascar games. I think I already have this one though. I may have found it at a book fest one time. It's got the manual. Uh, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. I, I have no idea about this one. I kind of took a chance on it, not sure if it's worth anything. Yeah, that came loose. It's uh, surprisingly not scratch free, but not as scratched as you would think considering it was loose. Still pretty good. I, I will list this on my eBay. It's in good enough condition. And two copies of Skate 3. One bestseller, one not. I always get 17 to 20 for this one. Ah, they 
Xbox 360, they sent the PS3 version. That's all right. Has some scratches though. Hmm. I might just have to hold on to this one. Wait until I find a loose disc or a spare case. Skate 3. Let's see if this one is good. This one is good. Well, 1 out of 2 isn't bad. And this one does have some scratches, so this will probably be... Either I'll take it to the guy and be leading it at resurfaced, or a CEX fodder. So yeah, that was good stuff. Good prices. And the last one here, I'm pretty an eBay order. Something for my own collection. A rarity in these videos now. I always try to take it off without destroying the parcel so I can reuse it. But they use some kind of bloody super glue on these now. Makes it difficult. That, that's what always happens. The super glue won't tear, but the paper will. That's alright, I can still use a bit of tape and reuse this one. Not all, nothing wrong with a little bit of recycling. Oh no, it's from CX as well. Nice. I'm very happy that I managed to get this one. Uh, this one is a, to my knowledge, really, really rare PlayStation 3 game. I've never seen it in person and, you know, I've been collecting PS3 for 10 years now. So for one that I've never seen in person, it has to be pretty rare. I think I paid, might have the sh didn't come with the sheet. I think I paid maybe $25 free shipping with this one from the ZEX website. Now the issue of this is that usually when they have a generic title, you'll get the wrong game. I've, it's happened in the past. I bought two copies of uh, White Knight Chronicles 2. And both times they sent me the first game, so I thought, for this game, they're going to send me Sniper Elite, or they're going to send me Sniper Ghost Warrior, they're going to send me something else. Thankfully, they sent the actual game. It's in there. Oh, hey. There's my address. And this was only $15, plus $3 shipping, so that's a really good deal for this one. This one seems to go in the $40 to $45 range. Disc is mint. Manuals there too, so this is as complete as it gets and in really good shape. Uh, it says one player, but then it says online only. I have no idea. This is a rare game, so it is one that goes for a bit. I just don't know if you can even play it anymore. <laughs> Actually didn't know it was online only until I saw that there. Huh. I thought this was like... A single player game that you could sit down and play. Uh, maybe I wasted my money then. You might not even be able to play this. But you can use the move controller. There's no way you would use the move online. Whatever. That's going to my collection. Alright, let's go to the next segment. 